everyone, welcome to Football Fan TV, the show that gave me the very best in the world of football. Previews, reviews, transfers, and most importantly, uh, Football Fan TV will be in your neighborhood, so um, watch out. First time watching the show, uh, please do subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to get more juicy stories and videos on Football Fan TV. So today is the interview section. I'm talking about Chelsea, and I will meet my very good friend, a brother. He's been a Chelsea fan for a while, over a decade. Uh, when it comes to Chelsea, he's a part of the fan uh, in Chelsea. Uh, I love Chelsea so much that um, he even named his daughter Chelsea. <laughs> you know, so he he knows the stocks you know, when it comes to Chelsea. I'm also interested to know um, this individual here, yeah, a very good friend, um, he's an entrepreneur. When it comes to cake baking, cake designing in Nigeria, without any shadow of any doubt, my personal opinion, number one. And also, um, I was also interested to know that this person is also a, a good musician, um, an artist. For those of you who have not um, seen his music, um, before the show runs out, check the link, check the link um, below. Uh, for you to download uh, its, its lovely um, videos so for your own um, personal enjoyment. So, um, my brother, you welcome to the show, Bob on TV. I'm um, going to introduce um, Joseph Kema um, Santi Avoide on Bob on TV. Uh, so, today we're talking about Chelsea. Um, Chelsea had a very good season, lads. Um, had a very good season. Um, the one um, the Europa mm -hmm. Cup, yeah, and um, they also came third above um, Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur. Um, so how do you see Chelsea this season, considering the fact that um, Chelsea were not able to sign any players? And, um, but, but they had a, but they, for the initial, they had a very um, decent, decent pre-season though, um, between the likes of Barcelona, Salzburg, Reading, um, but how do you think Chelsea going you know, to felt this season? Okay, basically, I don't want to judge any performance based on precision. Um, you know, um, precision usually is, is like a deceptive uh, yeah. um, period until we get into the main business. Yeah. I, for one, we're going to have um, hiccups, mm -hmm. obviously, yeah, because uh, because of the transfer ban and what have you. Yeah. But however, however, I think we are still going to perform well. I know even when we had um, uh, in our worst um, periods, yeah. uh, that, that I'm talking about 2012, we still won the championship yeah. Yeah, with the likes of Marius, Torres, no and the likes of them. But they're coming um, maybe sixth in the EPL table. Yeah. But for now, I think we have strong and energetic players, young, you know, and um, for the fact that we don't have our talisman. In the team anymore, has that mm. it will give room for other persons to perform very well. Yeah. I, for one, I personally think has that um, overshadowed the likes of William okay. yeah. for a very long time. Yeah. So, the whole responsibility now will be on, 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 on William, mm. and obviously, he's going to perform better this season. And then um, we have the likes of uh, Lufthus Cheek. Mm -hmm. that performed very well last season. We have the likes of Utsin Oloi. We have the likes of Pulisic, though it was still taking time to blend into mm -hmm. English football and whatever. But basically, I can tell you that we have a very decent team this time around and um, we are going to do well. Trust all, right. Me. all right, talking about Egan Hazard, um, let us take our man back to Real Madrid. Cristiano Ronaldo was the head of that team. And when Ronaldo left the team, we won't know what happened to um, Real Madrid. They couldn't even uh, fit in and even um, um, win the La Liga or became tall or something. So, do you, do you really think um, the scenario will be the case for Chelsea and the Nazar, leading the Nazar? How do you think um, the boys will fail? And if you have any um, answer to that, who do you think will be um, the talisman for your team this season? This season? Well, how we single handedly pick William? Why? Because because Chelsea fan recently you were saying um William is off his peak, is is going of age. Yeah. Um most people are picking Pedro. So why would you pick William? Yeah, we all know William. Mm -hmm. Um let's 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 take our minds back to some two or three seasons ago when William was the best player in Chelsea. Yeah. When every other person or every other player rather 
went dark. Yeah. It was William. William did all magic, everything, in every other match, he was the man of the match, and at the end of the day, he won so many, you know, according to himself in the Chelsea team thing, you understand? Yeah. Hazard was there, but Hazard was off completely. William was there right. to salvage us from, yeah. you know, many, many mess and what have you. So I think, to a great extent, that William is being underrated. William is not really happy in the team. Yeah. Yeah, because of a number of things going on, him receiving bench, not playing and not regularly, play regularly in the and team, what yeah. Have you. yeah, and um, all the accolade, all the share, all the encomium and what have you is, is being you know it's given to Azar. But now Azar is gone. Thank God that we are not selling William. Mm -hmm. William will do perform magic. My personal opinion though, mm -hmm. William will perform magic with the with, with, with the help of um, um Pedro. We know Pedro to be <laughs> this sneaky guy. Yeah. Uh, once he picks, he picks. Of um, score fantastic. Yeah, sometimes yeah, and he's always moving the attack forward. Yeah. Then we have the likes of um Putin or Doyle. These guys are young guys, energetic and they really want to play. Yeah. And I guess this is the time for them to have enough playing time. No player will do well if they are not given the opportunity to have ample time to play. Yeah. You know. But with the exemption of Hazard now, the likes of uh, Putin or Doy, Pulisic and um, the rest will have opportunity to play a longer time which will help them you know grow very well and they all know that the season entirely depends on them yeah so i believe they are going to do well yeah. with or without hazard it may take us time you know it, it takes time to build a team mm. uh, without hazard yeah we're going to feel it obviously no doubt about that we're going to feel hazard coming in at the last minute do the magic and all that yeah but we are still going to survive and we are going to blend, trust me. All right, in every team, um, attack is very, very important. We have a last now, last now playing beautiful football, Manchester City playing beautiful football, but most times um, the issue is at the back. Now, reports reaching us that Devin Lewis is not happy at Chelsea, I think he's leaving for that, he's leaving to Arsenal. Um, do, you really think, do you really see that as a blow? Um, for Chelsea losing um, Davis, Davis Lewis because of his experience uh, for Chelsea? Yeah, I would say yes. And at the same time, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it depends. You know, these things is all psychology. It depends on the coach's um, um, mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, Lampard came and um, he, he didn't did fit that. Um, um, he wants to get rid of David Lewis. Lewis. Probably because of age, probably a calamity. Issues. Because you know, of the proudness. Yeah, yeah. We can't, we, we can't, we can't, we can't um, 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 outrightly, you know, condemn that Lewis is is being of immense help to Chelsea, irrespective of the fact that sometimes he commits some kind of blunder oh, that you know. But however it is, we still have decent guys that have gathered experience over the years. The likes of Kozuma coming back. We Christian have, uh, Christian, Andre, Christian, Christian you know, if we don't take all these old players out at some point, these younger ones will never have the uh, opportunity to play. Really. Now we have Emerson fullback, we have um, um, uh, Aspilicueta is still there, we have um, um, Christensen, we have Rudiger, you know, and, 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 and the likes of them. Though we are, uh, well, before now we've not been using um, um, uh, KU. And I, I, I was told that it is even it's living, for, yeah. you know, one other thing. But yeah. however it is, with or without David Lewis, we are still going to fail. It depends on the coach's mentality. Yeah. Now, before now, um, this guy, Anthony Conte, uh, Conte, came and he sees that, wow, I think I would need David Lewis. And he brought yeah. David Lewis back yeah, into the team. You understand? Then Mario came. Mario came prior to uh, Antonio Conte, and he, he, he sees Mori, um, I mean, um, David Lewis as not what his team. He sold him out. Yeah. Then Conte came and bought him back. Yeah. So Lampard is doing the same thing. Maybe he's not saying the usefulness of uh, David, Lewis. David Lewis or, you know, we also need to consider the age. Age wise, yeah. David Lewis is, is, uh, is growing older. Let's give room for this yeah. younger boy that still have the. He has achieved everything. Yeah. But if I were David Lewis, I wouldn't. Think of leaving Chelsea. I will just maintain my legendary status. <laughs> you know, he has achieved all. all what right. is he going for? He has achieved all right, let's talk about the coach. Um, in recent times, um, Chelsea are putting in coach. Um, they end up winning um, trophies for Chelsea. Um, Jose Mourinho did it in 2004, winning the Premier League for Chelsea over 50 years. Back to back. Um, back, to back yes. Um, 
Di Matthew, like Randy said, okay. Champions, Champions League. League yeah. You know, recently Sari came to win this UEFA Cup. Cool. So every so, but they did it Premier League. Yeah. Um, cool. um, Proceeding. I did it every cup, um, you know. Uh, I shall do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so every every coach that comes to Chelsea wins wins trophy. So, so do you see the same um, as Frank Lampard too? I'm winning something because he's a new he's a new coach. He just fresh. He just coached Debbie recently. Uh, but though he brought Debbie to the Championship player, but he couldn't even bring Debbie to the Premier League. So do you think Frank Lampard? Winning something uh, for Chelsea this yeah, season. Yeah, quite unfortunate for Lampard. He did all his best to bring the uh, Derby yeah, to the Premier League. I think it was yeah. at the playoff, the playoff uh, the final. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he got knocked out. Yeah. yeah, he has done his best, but we won't compare them to County to Chelsea. Yes, yeah, so okay. Chelsea is yeah, a, it's a big team, team. Yeah. and a great extent, even bigger than the likes of um, Frank Lampard. You know? Yeah, but however, being a player coach, I think he's got some experience that he's going to bring in. It's going to so, but will you think the boys we kind of respect him because he's a young guy, like I said. So, will you think the boys in the locker room are going to give him that respect? Obviously, he's a legend. Okay. He's a legend in the team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the greatest title we have, I won. Okay. He won all of them. Yeah. He yeah. won all of them because including the, 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 the Europa League, he's won the Euro Europa League. Champions League, Europa League. Champions League, League. Name yeah. it, he's won everything. Those so, only what Cup remains. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's an achiever. Trust me, and, and he's um, a fighter. He has, he has character. Yes, yes. Uh, but obviously, you cannot um, rule out players falling out with coaches. Mm. It's normal. Mm. But for respect, yeah, definitely going to respect from Frankfurt being uh, um, a legend in the club, and you know that it's not just an ordinary legend. A legend that won so many things with the club. Yeah, you understand. So obviously, they will respect him. Okay. Respect him, and I. Uh, I see him triumphing, you understand, doing well. But probably um, one season will not be enough to judge him. Yeah. One season will not be enough to judge him. I do like, 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 uh, like uh, Mauricio Osari. It just came to my notice now. I just realized that Mauricio Osari is actually a very good coach. Though we never liked him. Mm -hmm. The fans, they, you know, because of his style of ball, it's not really our thing. Yeah. And at some point, we were just dropping points. We were on top of the table. At some point, we went down. But come to think of it, at the end of it all, mm. he came third, yeah. took us back to Champions League exactly. and won Europa Cup. And he, 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 he got to the finals of the, um, the, the, yeah. the Carabao Cup. If not for, um, 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 what's his name, the, 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 the goalkeeper, what's his name, Kepa, Kepa. Ariza Balaga. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I don't know. <laughs> he, he, he didn't listen to the man. Because actually the man was telling him to leave the pitch. Leave the pitch because um, this other keeper, what's his name? Um, what's, what, what's, what's this second choice? Uh, this bald head guy. I can't his remember name. his name, but I don't think uh, I remember. Um, is, is Caballero. Caballero. Caballero is actually a good goalkeeper when in terms of penalty. To penalty. Yeah, yeah, you know, so so he actually wanted to use that strategy. Okay, you come out at the last minute, let Caballero do the final thing the and save penalty. penalties and what have you, then we, we would have won the cup. Just like um, 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 Van, um, what's, it, what's this man's name? This former man you coached before Moreno. Uh, Moreno's uh, Van, Gaal. Van Gaal. Van Gaal did that, I guess, in the World Cup also. Uh, yeah. Removing one, one to keeper that, uh, to replace, replace him with it. another. And that other keeper that came in at the last minute, same two clear penalties. And um, I, I guess um, they, they, they came third or something in the competition. Yeah. I can't really say. Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember that. So if, if not for that, check, out, check it. Go to the finals Europa of Carabao Cup, Europa League um, oh, Cup, final. and also taking us to the third position. Above, uh, above yeah, 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 he did well, he did yeah, well. Yeah. If you check the middle and towards the end of the season, you can outrightly say that, oh, we were going nowhere. Yeah. But at yeah. the end of the season, I now realize that we actually did well. Coming third, I had of us, I had of Tottenham. Yeah. Those guys were ox. Yeah. I had of those guys, we come third. Yeah. So he did well, and I hope. Frank Lampard will will Listen. supersede what he meant on ground. Yeah, well, it's going to be a hard job for Frank and Lampard, no doubt about that. So, um, to put you on the spot, um, Sunday, um, Manchester United against Chelsea, what a rival. Um, how do you see that game coming out? Are you going to watch the game? <laughs> so, how do you see the game coming out um, at the Tech House of Green Book Transport? Yeah, obviously, we have resumed back. <laughs> we went on vacation while yeah, the season was off, you know, but yeah. it's back now. We have resumed work. 
trust me, any day, any time, if, you, if, if I'm told to predict that match, mm. Chelsea is obviously going to have the upper hand. Mm. I'm going to defeat Man Manchester United. Mm -hmm. I'm at, at Old Trafford. My brother, <laughs> my brother. Lately, I remember I I I, I started uh, thinking of something, or it's now part of me that there's no home in football anymore. Yeah, yeah. If you are not properly prepared, you will crash you at all. I think it's the mentality of the, the players. Mentality. Yeah, so, uh, uh, anybody can beat anybody at all. Okay. Yeah, it depends on how. It's just like you say in Barcelona, playing with Derby County. <laughs> uh, and they become the main in their own. Won't Barcelona trash them? They are, be they are better off. So exactly. it's, it's a normal thing. Exactly. If you like, pack the whole crowd, the whole England, let them be on the field. Without one Barcelona fan, let them start shouting and throwing catapults in the field. It exactly. doesn't matter. Barcelona will still be there. So exactly. it's, it's a normal thing. Exactly. So we are going to obviously defeat Manchester United. Two or three goals. Okay, okay. let me put you on the spot on the final note. Um, so, how do you think Chelsea will um, fail in the table? Um, because that top four, you know, always is in one position. So how do you think Chelsea will feel? Will they win the Premier League or will they still end up um, bringing among the top four? Winning the, winning the Premier League, I can't say. Obviously, I can't say. Hey, it's obvious now. Uh, so we, have, we, have best, we have better teams, you know. <laughs> uh, we have, you, have, you still have Liverpool. The cities, yeah. You, have, you still have Manchester City, City. the current champion. Yeah. You have Liverpool, the, the, the Champions League champion. Yeah. You understand? So, so it's going to be difficult. It's, it's, it's going to be difficult. So if, if it were the, um, um, the likes of mine, you. And all those people. Yeah, you so, so you give it up on top four. Yeah. And Chelsea will end up top four. Yes, we are going to make top four. Top four. Maybe a playoff or a third position. Okay. Because last season was the worst top five I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. But Chelsea win today, has not win tomorrow. Chelsea lose today, has not You know? Yeah. So, but Chelsea came out tall, like you rightly said. Mm -hmm. So, you see, Chelsea is still going to do it. Yes, we are season. going to. However, a third or a fourth, we are making Champions League next season. All right. We are making Champions League. And. However, it is, we are going on with some trophies this season as well. Okay. Trust me. I can even see, I can see a good light in the Champions League. Okay. Now, you can tell me that I'm a joker. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but that's right. my opinion. Yeah, I yeah. See, I can see us. I can see us because it has happened to yeah, that right. before, yeah. Whenever you underestimate Chelsea, that's when they perform the most. When they have the least players, when the other teams are even out and, you know. Yeah, it's because nobody ever believed they're going to beat Arsenal 4 1. In, in in the Euro yeah, everybody yes. wrote Chelsea over yeah. and uh, hey, Arsenal, 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 my, my Chelsea, Arsenal, we did Arsenal with that. Yeah. But surprise, I didn't even want to watch the match because of the tension and everybody. I said, okay, let me just go, let me see what's going on. I was surprised. <laughs> and with that, Tracking not just one zero. Four, one. It wasn't a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. Look, no, no, no. no wasn't <laughs> we we we, we no. defeated them clearly. Yeah, yeah I think they also taking narrow it down back to 2012. One won the Champions League. Mm. We were nowhere in the table. Mm. If we had lost that Champions League, we we're not going to the next Champions mm. League. You understand? But we played well. So I believe in spirits. Spirits and mentality of the coach. Okay. Talk to your boys and let the boys play for the coach play for the team and play for the, 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 their personal exactly. glory, exactly. you understand, exactly. fight till you exactly. die, exactly. like the gladiators and everything, exactly. yeah, yeah, definitely. however it is, we are just looking at it that uh, Chelsea, Hazard is not more than we still have good players, players. Mm -hmm. they were never given the opportunity to play, for sure. yeah. you understand, mm -hmm. so with Hazard leaving, even if David Luiz should leave, it's not a problem, it's not a problem, we still have other good players that can Play with their mind, and you know they would definitely deliver. A clear example is Lister some three, four seasons ago. Yeah. Whoever believed Lister would win, nobody would win the the, the, the Premiership. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody, but it just came from nowhere. When my uh, Man City was out, Chelsea out, um, Man U out, Arsenal, the Torino, and everybody defeated everybody, and they won it. And considering the fact that our last passes in there were relegation threat, threat, they came to you win. understand. So, 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 so they all came together and. And, and and they strategized different plans and it worked for them. And above all, they all played with their minds. Right. Let us die here. Yeah. And it happened. So right. people can do it. All right. So thank you very much, Santi. That's been the show today, um, Football Fan TV. Um, like I said, um, for those of you who have not um, listened to Santi uh, music, um, please, uh, there will be a link below uh, for you to download um, Santi's great music uh, for you to enjoy when um, you are down. So that's been the show. Again, you can also follow on Instagram at 
Cake Priest. C A K E P R I E S T. Cake Priest. Or Cake underscore Santiago. That's on Instagram. On Instagram. How about yeah. Facebook or Twitter? On Facebook. On Facebook, you can do Kema Abwede on Facebook. Oh. Yeah, on Twitter, you can do Kick Priest. Okay. So, you have for the Aussie Smile. So, please, uh, like I said, check the link down below for you to download his lovely music for your own um, pleasure. Okay. Uh, so, once again, uh, first time you're watching this show, please do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell. So, Football Fan TV will come right away very soon. Take care.